preseason's all about progress. Obviously, fans want results, but could you speak to the fans in that there's a big picture involved here, too? Yeah, I think the purpose of preseason is to fine-tune your team, to find out what you're good at, what you're not good at. And there's four practice games for a reason. Uh, if they meant anything, they'd go on the schedule or in, on your final record. But it, we obviously didn't perform well uh, the last game, but I think we'd want to change that as a new team does, but that's what preseason is for. And I don't think it's time to hit the panic button. I don't think there's any reason for that, but I think we're all excited to get better uh, and to hopefully put on a much better performance on Sunday night. Three more inside the 20 on Sunday. You're, you know, you've got the boomstick, but you've also been placing them pretty well as well. Well, you have to have touch. I think that's a big deal these days. Uh, a lot of punts are in short yardage situations where you have to back the team up. And my job is just to set up the defense, be in a good spot. Uh, get a quick three and out and then score some points and field positions everything that's my job but we have a good coverage team too and and you didn't see that whenever we got the third stringers in and guys that really were kind of new to covering kicks because a lot of these guys are superstars in college so they never have to play special teams so you throw them into a coverage role they're not used to it uh, especially game speed it's a whole new thing so once they get more comfortable with it it will do better people hear you on tv or the radio or see you on twitter they might think you're the life of the locker room. Coach just said a minute ago, you've been pretty quiet. You have your blinders on. I mean, is there public pad and then on the field you're all business? Well, this is work. This is my job, you know. So off the field I have a good time. I have a lot of fun. But in the locker room on the field, this is work for me. Uh, I'll do what I have to do to talk to teammates if they're having a rough time or if they're new to the team. I'll chit-chat with them, make them feel welcome. Uh, but this is my job. And you, you kind of got to separate work from play. And everything else is a lot of play. But here, this is, I mean, this is what I'm supposed to be doing here. You caught wind of J.J. Watt's uh, interest in playing offense. Yeah, he's a huge human. Uh, so I think if he's, at, he's obviously athletic enough, it'd be tough to tell that guy no. I mean, if he, if he asked me to do something, I think I'd just let him do whatever he wants. But he's a big freak. So hopefully for our sake, he doesn't play on the offensive side of the ball. But if he does, uh, you got to wish him well. That's cool stuff. What happens first? He scores a touchdown or you kick a field goal? Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. That is a really good question. I have no idea. But I know I'm assuming J.J. Watt will succeed at whatever he does. And if I get a chance to kick one, it's going through. But you think if you're near midfield, you know, we could see you trot out there at some point. It's all about situations. Uh, whenever you have a guy like Adam Vinatieri, who's arguably the greatest of all time and will be a Hall of Famer, uh, there's no reason to take reps away from him, but if, if there's a long ball opportunity, I think situation arises, you, you, you go and give it a go.